How can we blur only backdrop in Pixelmator Pro? So here I am, I loaded my image already. You can see the image in the layer panel. What I need to do now, I need to duplicate this one. The easiest way is to right click and select duplicate. Okay. Now I will hide the copy that is above and simply blur the one below. Head for Format, Effects, Blur. We can have basic Gaussian Blur in this case. And then you just move this slider on the right to increase the radius of the blur. In my case, I think around 20 pixels will do. All right. Now let's go back to the image at the top. This is the one that is still sharp. What we need to do here, we need to simply remove the backdrop so we can see the backdrop from the below image, the blur one. So head to the top on the right side. There's a special icon now to remove the backdrop with just one click. Let's try that first. And here it is, we got a sharp foreground, the person from the first image and the blur backdrop from the second one. As you can see, there are a few details that did not remove well, like I got few leaves here at the top. If that's bother you, instead of just use like auto backdrop remove, we can do it with the more manual control. So let's try that as well, a bit more advanced, but we'll get a greater detail. So I will undo using command Z shortcut. And instead of using this very basic auto remove for the backdrop, we will try to select the person and remove the backdrop around. So I pick a selection tool on the right here and we can go with select the subject of this photo. Now we see the selection tool marquee around and we can also modify it. We don't need to go with it like in the previous example. So now I can change the selection tool to quick selection tool. And I got this little brush that I can use to add or subtract from existing selection. So let's start with add. I recommend to zoom a bit. I want to add this area here. All of that. Okay, this is part of her head as well. We got very similar color to backdrop, so it's hard to blame the AI here. Okay. And now, now we got too much on this area. I want to remove that from the selection. So I change to subtract mode and now I can remove those leaves that we saw before. All right, here's something. Again, I switch to add and this one should be part of the selection. All right, and here as well. This is what we call low contrast picture. So the subject is got very similar colors to backdrop in some areas, right? So that's always a challenge. That's why I need to do some manual fixes here. Okay, that's the final check here as well. Almost missed this one, her neck. Okay, so this gives us more control than just basic backdrop remove. And that's exactly what we need. Extra zoom in if you are not sure. Okay, and this one will require a very gentle subtract. Just like that. Okay, and with that, we can now move this to a new layer or create a mask for existing one. So let's zoom out and use this existing selection around this person to create a mask for this layer simply by clicking add mask here in the layer panel. Add mask. And here it is, we got a mask. Click done. 
and we got better result this time. Keep in mind, we still got this blur image as the first layer, so that gives us the blur backdrop around the person, and we got this one, the mask, that allows us to only see the person, the subject of the photo. So that's how you blur only the backdrop. Now you are ready to save it as the brand new picture. Simply file, export. I hope this was helpful. See you in the next one.